I love you, S and I love you too, S and I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. What's up, you guys? It's a beautiful sunny Saturday, a wonderful day, and I'm gonna get another tattoo. No, actually, that's not how I see that unicorn talking. I see that unicorn talking with confidence, the head up, the eyes looking forward, just like I want SNM to do. Strong, competent, magical. That's how I see that tattoo. Strong, confident, powerful, magical, with the infinite power of space in her mind and in her capacities. That's how I see SNM. So they say to get a tattoo with a full stomach. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be eating a hamburger, like an absolute boss. But I'm also gonna be bringing some nuts, some carrots, and some Oreo cookies with me to keep my sugar levels up. Because you know, you're going through pain. It's a traumatic experience for a part of your body. And your brain is gonna release endorphins. Uh, it's, it's basically like eating a hot pepper. Your body thinks it's truly in danger, so it's gonna release all those chemicals that are gonna reduce your blood sugar, that are gonna increase your blood pressure, um, and you know just try to keep you safe, but also reduce pain uh, or eliminate pain in your body on a temporary basis, obviously. So that's why I'm gonna keep my sugar levels up so I don't faint, so I don't pass out, so I can do everything I possibly can so that doesn't happen. Cause it's a beautiful day for a tattoo. It's a beautiful day for a tattoo. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be my Tyrannosaurus? At least on my arm. Alright guys, we're here. We found a parking spot. Downtown Montreal is an absolute train wreck. The actual street that we're on, it would have been nice if they told me, uh, but you know, you can't think of everything. She's actually been giving me, um, she's actually been giving me amazing service uh, from the beginning. So I'm not gonna complain about that. I mean, she doesn't drive, she said, so you, you can't think of everything, but uh, you know, it's it's just the street that she on, the street that this tattoo parlor is on is in com in total construction, not even drivable. Uh, the street is completely cut off, and uh, it's an absolute mess. But I'm here, and that's the most important thing right now. Uh, now I gotta find a way to pay for my parking so that I don't get a ticket for being here, and. Uh, that's the last time I can touch my mask until it's time to take it off later on. I don't like how it's riding up under my eyelid. So I'm gonna try to fix that before I get out of here. So I'm less, much less tempted to touch it. That's a lot better. All right. Yep, daddy's old fashioned, still uses the club. I know, I know that if someone has a choice between my car and somebody else's car, they're gonna take somebody else's car because of the club. That's what it comes down to. Now, we got our ticket, and we're gonna go put it on the dashboard, just like we should. 
It's actually an amazingly beautiful day downtown Montreal over here. It's gorgeous, wonderful weather. Wasn't expecting that. Last time it was kind of rainy, humid. Now there's a lot less humidity. So there you have it guys, my own personal T-Rex. I love it, I'm really excited about it. One thing I noticed about this particular tattoo, it was a more personal experience than when I got the unicorn tattoo. What I mean by that is, in order to get all these dots on the Tyrannosaurus, the shading, uh, she had to turn down her needle um, a lot actually. And uh, so she was basically just doing dot work on the tattoo and that was a lot less painful. So I could concentrate less on managing the pain and zoning out. And I was able to kind of just, you know, be in the moment and have a discussion with her. So we had a really good discussion on a lot of different topics. It was, it was awesome actually. But in comparison to this tattoo, you know, when I got, when I got the unicorn tattoo, that was a, a this is me because of the fact that I love dinosaurs, I've loved them my whole life, I love history, prehistory, all of that stuff, uh, trilobites and all, all, all types of fossils, that is really up my alley, that's me, but it's a lot less personal than this. Like this is me, my daughter, it represents the relationship I have with my daughter, the love I have for my daughter, it's an expression of love for my daughter. Whereas this tattoo, it's just cool to have. And uh, it does, it is me, but it's le a little bit less personal. But the, the experience was more personal than the, the tattoo itself. Whereas this, I kind of had to live this experience on my own and feel that personal experience by myself. 
the, the artist that I chose to do this tattoo, who did an amazing job, um, he was kind of just distant. He didn't want to really be involved. He just wanted to get his tattoo emotionally involved. He didn't want to like know me as a person. He just wanted to get his art done, get the tattoo in and be on his way. Uh, he explained me the aftercare. He wasn't a total asshole, but at the same time, you know, he just didn't want to be involved personally at all. And I get that. I understand that everybody's different. But you know, so that's the one thing I noticed. I don't think I'm gonna get another tattoo again for a while, if I ever get one again. But uh, I'm really happy with the work. I'm really happy with the experience overall in general. You know, this this tattoo, and I was kind of happy for my first tattoo that he didn't want to shoot the breeze while he was do, working on his art. And you know what this means? What this means is that I am part of a tradition, of tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of year old tradition of putting a piece of artwork, a beautiful piece of artwork in my skin for the rest of my life. And that's amazing. People pay millions of dollars to put art on a wall and I paid a certain amount of money, not, not extremely expensive for, in comparison, for a beautiful piece of artwork that means something personally to me and that that artist took the time, the risk, the energy, the care to put in my body. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. I'm honored and privileged to have you with me. Thank you so much for coming with me on that amazing experience. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao guys. Whoa, we gotta do this the right way. Ciao guys. guys it's a beautiful so they say to get a tattoo in the sun <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? what's up you guys it's a beautiful sunny Saturday and I'm gonna go get another tattoo why because it's a wonderful day why cuz why cuz it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood a beautiful day for a tattoo could you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my tattoo artist?